let's move into the Big Ten. Um, let's see. Let's look at the East first. The we talked uh, about. Can it. we look at the West first? Can we look at the West yeah, first? I feel like we, that's going to be so much easier to pick. Yeah. So I. At the start of the season, when we did our state of the conference series, we we hit on the the difference between these two divisions um, of the Big Ten and, and quality. The East is absolutely loaded from top to bottom. Um, there was the stat that came out this past weekend before the games started, before Iowa lost. There was five Big Ten teams in the top ten. It was the first time that I'd ever. Had, First time that it had ever happened for the Big Ten, and it was the only time anybody other than the SEC had had gotten it. And the SEC has done it like 23 times or something like that. Um, but four of those five teams were from the East. Michigan State, Michigan, Ohio State. Um, they're all undefeated. Four in a, or No way, we're starting with the West. My bad. Iowa was one of those. They were number two. Are you saying that they're the ones in the driver's seat, and that's why this is an easy... Uh, easy choice. Would it be crazy if I said Purdue? Yes. I think is actually in the driver's seat. I mean, they play Minnesota is going to be tough because Minnesota has the tiebreaker. If Minnesota wins out, doesn't matter what Purdue does; they could win out too, and it doesn't matter. But Purdue's schedule is. But I don't think I don't think that Minnesota does win out. That's the, that's the. I don't either. But I also That's think thing. Purdue has at least two more losses. They have a rough schedule. I think I see. I see one where I bet against them. Ohio State at Ohio State. It's it's the only game that I I bet against Purdue. Every other game, like I'm either not betting, or I'm like, okay, maybe. Yeah. I. I'm just a tortured Purdue fan that never thinks anything good's going to happen. And so I just literally cannot picture Purdue playing in the Big Ten Championship. I mean, the obvious choice is Iowa, just because I think Iowa, like, keeps winning. They're clearly the best team in this division. Yeah, they're clearly the best team. But, like, what if Purdue is on now? Like, what what if? I'm 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 willing to – fuck it. I am willing – to say that Purdue can make the Big Ten championship game. Oh, so you're not picking them. You're just saying you're willing to say that they can. I thought you were about them. to. Okay. <laughs> I thought you were about to pick I'm them. I'm picking them. Okay. I'm picking them. All right. <laughs> and this is purely based off of the fact that I think Iowa could lose another game. They definitely could. Wait, I'm looking at Iowa's schedule now. Hold on. I don't. I no longer like my pick, but I'm sticking with it. I was because I don't think I was losing another game, but I think Purdue will yeah. lose a game. Purdue's going to lose at least two more, so I think that puts them out of the running. I was the clear and obvious pick here. They they have an easy end of this uh, end of the season. They play what Northwestern. They play uh, Illinois. Do they play Illinois the second half? No, they already played Illinois. Hang on, let me pull up their schedule. I got it. Oh, they do play uh, Illinois. Yeah. Yeah. They got Wisconsin, Northwestern, Minnesota, Illinois, Nebraska. Um, the Wisconsin and Nebraska games. Because Nebraska's actually kind of looked half decent um, these last couple of weeks. And it's at Nebraska. I love, know. But those are the I love that, like, yeah, I mean, they're the two that are, like, are. I don't think that Iowa loses them. I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. I feel like. This year has been entirely chaos, and I'm just rooting for chaos. So, like, I feel like I have to stick with Purdue so that I can just root for entire chaos. Okay. I respect it, and I love, I would love, I would love also, to see that happen. Also, also, thinking about this Penn State at Ohio State, if, if Georgia loses, we could see Ohio State at number two going into Purdue. Playing Please Purdue. let that happen. Please let that happen. Uh, just, then, just saying. Then that's a, just saying. It's a guaranteed dub at that point. Um, uh, then if if, if 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 Ohio State is ranked number two, like Ohio State needs to be praying 
that they are either number one, number three, or number four. Yeah. Like, they do not want to be number two for the rest of the smoke. season. Um, yeah. Well, this would also require Purdue losing a game because the record the record against number two teams is only when they're an unranked team against a number two team. So I don't know if that mm. changes much. But have they ever played a number two team when they were ranked? So we don't have a sample size. Fair enough. So, well, so I'm thinking that we don't have a sample size, so it's just Purdue is really good against number two teams. Okay, I like that better. I'm going to ride with that, even though I'm going to pick Iowa as my representative from the, the West. Um, I'll let you stay on that island with Purdue. Um, but let's move over to the East, the more exciting division in the Big Ten. Um, four teams uh, have a realistic shot at this point. Leading the way with 4-0 record is Michigan State, 7-0 overall. They're number nine in the country now. Michigan and Ohio State are both 3-0. and uh, Michigan is 6, Ohio State's 5. And then Penn State is 7, and they're 2-1, and 5-1 and one overall. This yeah. obvious choice is Ohio State. I just really don't want it to be Ohio State. Would I would I like actually, it? Actually, okay, go ahead, go Sorry. ahead, go ahead. I would like it. No, no, no. I would I like it if it's Michigan. I wouldn't mind it if it's Penn State. I probably wouldn't like it if it's Michigan State. Is that fair? So I don't think it's Michigan State. Um, I just Michigan State doesn't have the talent to keep up with the rest of their schedule. Yeah, in my opinion, so like they're easy to rule out for me. I think Penn State is also out of it for me. Oh, so it's gonna come down to the the game. Yeah, I think it comes down to the game. Okay, and it's at Michigan. Yeah. You are a Michigan supporter. They're like your what, your second or third team, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Are you saying that I'm, Michigan's going to beat Ohio State this year? I think. Yeah. So here's the thing: if they don't, I think Jim Harbaugh gets even if he's <laughs> eleven and one. Yeah. Um. So yes. Okay. Michigan, you're gonna Michigan, Michigan, Michigan is is it's gonna be Michigan versus Purdue. <laughs> I'm gonna, you know what? I'm picking, I'm picking Michigan as well. Maybe not for the same reason. I think Ohio State may, they lose that game to Purdue. Oh, blue. So uh, I'm gonna take Iowa and Michigan in the Big Ten championship. Look at us out on a limb, picking Michigan to beat Ohio God. State. <laughs> Michigan's gonna lose next week to Michigan State, <laughs> and just like fuck you both. Yeah. Yep. So, like, it's exactly what's going to happen. Immediately eliminated Michigan State from the discussion. <laughs> and yep. we picked Michigan. And the Michigan State fans are going to watch. Mel Tucker is going to watch this video for some reason. He's going to use it as bulletin board material. These fools. That's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to be like, fuck those guys. Throwing, like, darts at us. Yeah. Um, okay. So, I mean, are we going to do Conference USA? Uh, I don't really care. UTSA is really good. I love them, but... I don't really care who wins. All right, I, I'm picking Marshall to play UTSA in the conference chamber game. I just pick UTSA to win every game that they play ever for the rest of time because I love UTSA. Okay, but but who are they going to play in the conference championship? So it could Charlotte, literally be anybody. Charlotte. I think Charlotte's kind of good. Okay. I like what they got going on. All right. Uh, who's going to have the best record in the uh, independence this year? I hadn't really thought about this till now. I had skipped over the independence. Um, Putting you on the spot. I'm going to say BYU. I think BYU ends up with the best record. They got a pretty easy schedule the rest of the way. I think Notre Dame trips up another time. I'm going to say Notre Dame uh, just because I think Notre, I'm looking at Notre Dame's schedule. I think they're better than every team they play Fair. here on out. Um, though they do have that trap game uh, at Stanford, so like that's a that's a possible tripping point. But then they're going to be tied. Yeah, uh, they need to lose two more, and BYU needs to win out. Yeah, I'm just yeah, shooting for yeah, the. But yeah. this, they have the same record. Notre Dame just loses one more, and BYU wins out. All right, right. Um, 
Mac, my pick of Miami of Ohio is not looking too bad uh, right now. They're top in the East. I don't really have a pick for here other than I'm going to stick with Miami as my pick. Um, and I'm going to – Northern Illinois, they're surprising. They're, they're 3-0 in conference, 5-2 and overall. They were terrible last year, and they were picked – to be uh, pretty much bottom barrel in the in the Western Division, which is definitely the tougher division, and they played really well. Yeah, I mean they they have even though they, they scored also, less points than they've given up. They also had that good 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 win against uh, Georgia Tech. Um, I kind of have to say it's going to be Ball State though. Um, cause I just feel like Northern Illinois is a little suspect Fair, just considering how badly they played Bowling Green. Um, Ball State was the uh, representative uh, last year was, did they win the Mac last year? Yeah, they, they were. And I, I, and you know, I mean, I'm going to take Western Michigan. I like, you're going to take Western Michigan. Yeah. I, I like that. Honestly, I think the East could come down to the final, um, final Mac East game of the uh, year for Kent state and Matt and Miami. Yeah. And I'm actually going to take Kent state. Uh, Cause it's at Kent state. Kent state's been good at home. They've got a good offense. And I just think that they're a slightly better team than Miami is. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm taking ball state and Kent state. And then I, ha- I guess I have to say that uh, if I'm, if I'm picking between those two, I have to take ball state. Yeah. I trust Ball State more than uh. uh so Miami, Ohio, Western Michigan. I'm gonna stick with Miami, of Ohio. I think I think they win the MAC. Okay. All right. Let's... All right. Uh, you wanna go to Mountain West now, right? Yep. Highlight them real quick, and then Pac-12, SEC, and then quickly on the Sun Belt. Um, as we are going pretty long here. Uh, yep. Yep. We're okay. Mountain West. Uh, the Mountain Division, uh, a lot of good teams, not a great team. Colorado State kind of surprising, 2-0 and in conference. Air Force, 3-1. and Utah State, 2-1. and Very surprising. Boise State, 1-2. and um, Might be out of it at this point. Um, I think Air Force is, is probably the representative out here for me. Uh, yeah, when when Boise State isn't the representative, it's Air Force. Yeah. And then I think San Diego State, I think we're getting a preview of this game this week. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's okay. where I'm at. And if it isn't San Diego State, it's Nevada. Yeah, fair. Fresno State's out, out of it, and they're fun. But, yeah, I think it's, no, I think they, it's San they Diego State. It, but... uh, so San Diego State and Air Force were both in sync there. Um, Pac-12. So this is very interesting and still very much wide open, um, honestly. Uh, the, yes. The North, uh, Oregon's two and one. Oregon State's two and one. Washington State's three and two. Stanford is probably out of it, two and three. But um, I think we talked about this in our. Oh, what episode did we talk about? Oregon, Oregon State could be eleven and one going in, or ten and one going into the Civil War. I think that's what it comes down to, and I think Oregon wins it. Uh, I don't. Oregon just got too much talent for Oregon State. Oregon State does have two losses now. Oh, only so one. they would be only one in conference. One in conference, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in the south, um, yeah, I have to go with Oregon in the in the north. Um, if Nick Rolovich wouldn't have gotten fired, I think that Washington State could have been a sneaky team. Yeah. Um to like challenge but i i don't think washington state's gonna be very good now fair um in the south utah's played well in conference play they're three and oh now uh arizona state ucla both three and one everybody else is really kind of out of it in the south um i hate it because i didn't want to pick we spent so much time shitting on them so i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna take ucla I think UCLA wins this out. You know what? On principle, I have to agree with you. Take that, Utah fans. I almost said Arizona State, but I just I think they're fake. Uh, yeah, I 
I've given Arizona State enough chances, and they've let me down every single time. And you've made a mistake every single time. Yep. And I'm right about Herm Edwards. He's a fraud. Yeah, I, I agree. UCLA and Oregon. We got a preview of that coming up this week. They play each other in, at UCLA. Um, SEC. Uh, the East is pretty cut and dry at this point. Um, it's Georgia, 5-0. and And now they have a tiebreaker over second place, Kentucky, who is 4-1. Everybody else is 500 or worse. Georgia's going to win the East. That's obvious, in my opinion. Yeah. The real conversation comes in the West, uh, where we got three teams that are kind of tied. Alabama's three and one, then Ole Miss and Auburn are two and one. Ole Miss does, or Alabama does have the tiebreaker over Ole Miss. Um, They will play Auburn later this season, and they do not have the tiebreaker over Texas A&M. Texas A&M is not out of this. Te- technically, LSU is not out of it either, but I don't trust L- LSU. Okay, so I'm going to rule Ole Miss out just because Alabama, I don't think, is losing two more games. Fair. Um, so, like, if I'm looking at this, it has or Alabama. I think Auburn is more likely to lose some games moving forward. Um, because they play Ole Miss. Yeah. And like, I, I think that Ole Miss is the better team. Um, I feel like that's a toss up game that could go. They're pretty. Yeah. I I mean, it could go either way and it's at Auburn. So we we could say that Auburn wins that game. And, um, I don't know, but that, that then put, if, if Auburn does lose the game and I honestly think that that, the only losable game uh, before Alabama for Auburn. They do play Texas A&M at Texas A&M. Tough environment. That'll be a night game if Auburn's ranked. Um, so, I mean, I, I the thing is I don't see Alabama losing two more games. Yeah, it's Al- um, it, and, for me, it's Alabama. I, yeah, it, it's it's Alabama. I mean, even, even if Auburn wins, they, they don't hold the, the tiebreaker. Like, I think Auburn could beat Alabama. But I think that's the only team that can beat Alabama. And that's just because of the rivalry. Like, yeah. that's the only reason I think that it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was leading it, on the surface right now. It looks like it's going to be competitive. But if you dig down, I just I think there's no way that Alabama doesn't make the SEC championship when we get Georgia, Alabama, which would be a really fun game. So I'm cool with that. Um, Moving on. What's our next one? Uh, Sun Belt. It's the last one. All right. Um, you got Coastal, who is probably going to run away with it in the East. Coastal Carolina, two and zero, six and zero overall. Troy is two and one. Appalachian State, if they win this weekend or this Wednesday night, if they beat Coastal, then they they're in the driver's seat. Then they're in the driver's seat. But I don't see that happen happening. Coastal is just clearly the best team in this division at least we can talk about the other side that also has a really good team um let's go ahead and talk about it because the west isn't very competitive either um louisiana's three and oh and then after that texas state south alabama ul monroe and uh, I'm, I'm taking coastal carolina and and uh ra- the raging cajuns yep oh, that's um pretty easy. That, that's i don't i don't see it being any other other way no nope. so. i agree okay that was our. Oh, uh, that was all the comments. Uh, Dan, who do you want to do? You want to just real quick run through who you think is going to be the conference champion in each conference okay. based off of who we picked? All right, Cincinnati in the AAC. I also have Cincinnati. Oh, this is. Uh, I picked Wake Forest to play Pittsburgh. I'm going to take Wake Forest. Give me the Demon Deeks. I have Clemson and Virginia. And I really don't want to pick Clemson. I'm going to say Virginia. I'm going to say Virginia okay. wins it. I don't see that happening. I but don't okay. either. But that's, um, I, that's the corner I put myself in. I picked Baylor and Oklahoma State. I got to take Baylor because I don't think Oklahoma State wins against Oklahoma and then beats Baylor. Fair. I have Oklahoma and Baylor. I think Oklahoma wins it. Uh, Big Ten, I have Michigan, and Purdue, Michigan win. <laughs> I have Michigan and Iowa, Michigan win. <laughs> we're, 
We're um, already putting Michigan. We're putting Michigan in the playoff at this point. God dang! I hate. I hate us. Um, we legitimately just put Michigan in the playoff because <laughs> we don't want Ohio State to be there. Um, I love that for us. Uh, all right, Conference USA. I picked Marshall, UTSA, UTSA. Year. UTSA or 13 wins. Hour, I, guess. I think I picked yeah. I think I picked Charlotte I, UTSA wins Independence Notre Dame's gonna be uh, 11 and 1 um I picked uh, on BYU yeah. yeah um I picked Kent State versus Ball State and I have to go with Ball State there Miami Red Hawks MAC champions I'm riding with it I put uh, for the Mountain Mountain West. I've got Air Force versus San Diego State. If San Diego State is undefeated, I feel like they've got to win. Yeah, I, I, I pick San Diego State as well. They're just the better team. I, um, I think we both picked Oregon and UCLA for the Pac-12. UCLA. Right? I pick UCLA. I'm picking Oregon. Okay, I'll take UCLA. Um, Georgia, for Bama. the Southeastern Conference, I'm taking Georgia. I'm going to take Alabama. I'm taking Bama, and they put Georgia and Alabama in the playoff. And then I'll take... I hate that for me. I hate that as well, but I, that's, prove me wrong. Coastal Carolina, I'm taking them. They're going to go 13-0 this year. Yep. We're, uh, we're going to have a lot of 13-0 teams this year. I think it's just me like being hopeful for that. It it would just be Michigan. You would have Georgia. I wouldn't have Georgia. Cincinnati and Coastal. So for you, it would be Georgia, Coastal, Cincinnati, and oh, I guess Oklahoma too. Damn it, Oklahoma's in there. I pick Oklahoma. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot. So for me, in in my world, I've got Michigan, I've got Coastal, Cincinnati, and Georgia. That sounds like a great place to me. Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, and I, and and I have uh, and I have Wake Forest. Wake Forest, yeah. I forgot about that. Ah, I would have revive. But... <laughs> yeah, I that's why I'm telling Clemson's going to end up winning the ACC. <laughs> I just Wake Forest is not going undefeated. Um, no, all right. Since yeah, Cincinnati, I have undefeated. Oklahoma, Michigan, uh. UTSA, actually. UTSA, there's another 13-0 and we'd have. I also had them, yeah. yeah. I have six, six undefeated this year. All right. I, I guess San Diego State as well. <laughs> seven, Jiminy Christmas. We did not pay. There's seven teams. undefeated teams. That is just proof that there needs to be a new, uh, uh, an expanded playoff. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. let's, let's wrap it up. I might end up just making this a podcast since we've gone like 48 minutes long we, now we could potentially even uh split this up if we wanted to do, to do videos we could do it as a com- yeah we could do that and then one for the whole conversation yeah all right well thanks sir right. thanks for I'm watching talking about and listening it.